faith in God, perseverance, yeah. Hey, you gon' make it, yeah, just keep on waiting. Hey, let that hating be your motivation. Hey, you gon' make it, yeah, just keep on praying. Cause God can hear everything you say, yeah. He can hear you, man. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. We're back with the F250 2015. We're gonna be doing the color change on. Uh, we found these two dents down here. They were kind of bad. They were unlike these. We could just do a primer. We actually had to put Bondo, same process as the, the Bondo we did earlier. Uh, on the, all the other pieces around the truck. It's 180, sand the Bondo down. Then you use sandpaper 320. And then heavy build, high build primer, sorry. 2K primer, high build. Sand it down nice and smooth. So we're good to go on that uh, went ahead and removed the door handles you want to remove door handles Because it's a lot of times people try to get away with it and paint over them and it looks good temporarily Might last a while might last a long time not too sure But I know it has a high chance of it peeling back where the door handle sits against the door So we removed it. It's real easy this this particular vehicle only has two screws that hold your handle in place here and here What you do is you come in from in here on the inside and you actually have a hole here to stick your 7 16 inch socket in here and another one there there's a hole there it removes that and there's a little latch that you push down and you're good to go and then that removes your handle very easy on this feet some vehicles are a little more difficult but this truck was very easy to remove the handles everything's nice and smooth uh, tailgates gonna be done later of, we're gonna be we're gonna keep this brown. We're gonna repaint the brown, but we're keeping that color But again, this is turning into the black. We're gonna be removing the moldings around the windows all the way up around the window We're gonna be removing all of that We're gonna drop the window down and we're gonna bring this down keep in mind when you move the windows up and down You know you want to keep these connected without having your whole door panel on so just make sure you keep These on once you take your door panels off you always want to keep these on because periodically through the through your job You're gonna need to move your window up and down to drop the molding so you can sand in here You want a good sand job in there everything that's gonna take paint needs to be sanded well uh, be, so the paint would stick to the project. I need to go in here and take this off still. I haven't taken this off. This needs to come off as well. I don't want paint peeling around this either. So yeah, guys, stick around. Today's video is going to be all about taping the job up. We're going to get it taped up so we can get this Joker painted. Everything's nice and smooth. Everything looks good. Uh, over here, we got the fender that we're replacing on the right front fender right here. We're going to replace that. So we had to trim it out. And trim it out means when you trim something out, you, you paint it so you can put this fender back on because I want to paint this fender on the truck. I don't want to paint it separately. I want to walk the entire truck when I'm painting. So I want to trim everything out. Trimming means you paint the panel before you put it on. Can't really see it, but it's going to be the color here. The light hits it, you might be able to see it a little bit better. But uh, I just trimmed it. Trimming is things that are going to be hidden. That's going to be hidden underneath here. Things you're not really going to see, but nonetheless, they still need to be painted. So, yeah, guys, everything's ready to go. Again, I'm going to show you how to tape behind here. We're going to tape all behind these things so paint doesn't get inside the truck. Windows are going to come down. I'm going to tape behind that. So let's get this guy taped up. Okay guys, we're gonna start off on the doors, taping the doors. We've already trimmed out the doors already, so what we're gonna do is, now if you were taping and painting the doors individually, what you would do is actually tape along this line right here so you won't get a line. Now we're still not gonna get a line, but what I'm saying is it's always good to always hide. You can see right here, you would put the tape on this side here. It'd be over here so you can paint here, but we're not gonna put any tape here because we painted all the way to the edge when we painted these doors and we actually painted a little bit on the edge. So we're not gonna redo that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tape here. We're gonna mask everything off and then we're gonna come back with the paper and mask that off. But right now we need to get our, our coverage down. So what we're gonna do is tape all the way down the edge, right on the edge, and we're gonna fold back a little bit so the paint will be all on the edge. It's on the edge, but we need to overlap it again so it won't peel and we're going to do that all the way around here we're going to roll these windows down we're going to pull this molding down and we're going to reverse tape that way same thing all the way around the door all along all along the bottom we're going to get everything taped off
I was out there hustling, trying to stack a million, man, that money, I was trusting it, lusting over women, I was lost from the beginning, yeah. living in that darkness cause my heart was full of sin, now I see that it was Satan trying to steal my life and get it, if it wasn't for my savior then I know he would have did it, only cause the grace of God, man, I made it, I made it. and I'm not worried about those people that be hating, I'ma keep my trust in the Lord, yeah. my faith in the Lord, yeah. my life's in his hands, I'ma praise my Lord, cause he's the only Okay, as you can see here, it's partially sanded on the inside. We're going to tape on this side line. I had already previously taped it off all along here and scuffed it on this edge. So we're going to tape along the inside of the frame. So we're going to be taping all along side here, all the way down, inside your door jams on both sides. Same thing up here. I got it partially sanded on top and we're going to tape down here. Okay, so we taped along the edge here and we're going to tape along the top. So what you're trying to do is basically find a stopping point to where it comes around here and, and your tape comes in this area because paint's going to travel in here and somewhat get in here when you paint. So this is where we're going to end up going to. So if you notice when you close the door, you can still somewhat see a tape line in there. Paint's going to travel in there, but it's going to stop at your line, but it's far enough back where it won't get a hard edge. So you have a gap here, so that's how we're going to tape that off. Same thing on here. That's why we did this on the ends here because we're going to tape the we're going to put paper and fold it back this way. All right guys, now that we got it all taped around the edges here, as I explained earlier, we went ahead and scuffed right along the edge of the tape line. It's not scuffed down here. Now keep in mind the molding's going to go here anyway. But still, we wanted the paint to go past that. So the molding is going to actually overlap that between that and the door. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put paper from here and we're going to fold the paper in. We're going to stick it along our line. Now, you, some people try to say you could just put your paper down. This is a waste of tape. It's not a waste of tape because when you pull off your paper, you don't want to pull off the paints you want to take your time when you you have to pull away from your paint job even though you sand it in here the paint travels in here and it comes to a stopping point sometimes it's kind of scary when you pull because you have a chance at pulling away at your fresh paint we're going to be pulling this away as soon as we're done when it when it flashes off so it's better to put your tape line down and then put your paper in so we're going to put paper about you know the six inch piece we have an 18 inch roll actually, so we're going to cut it in half, it's going to actually be a 9 inch piece. We're going to tape it off here. Same thing with the door, we're going to put paper here and fold it in. So when you close the door, the paper is going to be folded in and folded in, so when the paint travels, it comes to a stopping point and doesn't get in the vehicle and doesn't get on the fresh paint job that we did inside. On the front of the, this is a four door truck, so here we had to back, see you got this little trim I'm holding on this back door here on the truck. See when you close the door on the front door, you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to see that piece right there. So paint's going to travel and hit that. Now we could have trimmed that out when we did the back, but we didn't so it's okay. Paint will still travel in there and we're going to get that on there. Back tape this door, we're going to put paper this way. Same thing with this piece here, same thing as back door, put paper in this way. Fold it from the top down. Fold it from the top down. We came and we stopped here. We're gonna cover up the windshield, so that'll go that way. Same thing with the top here, on the top of the door here. Okay guys, see how the, how the paper folded in? 
both sides folded in you want to tuck this in a little bit because when you close the door it won't pull away it is going to pinch down here because you're locking me mechanism but that's okay once it's closed it's closed we're good everything's taped off paper all the way around the door and down here we did a back paper so it's going to be hanging out towards and it's facing that way we taped it going against that way because not really tripping on that there's nothing down here there's no there's no step there's nothing down here that's going to get paint so we don't have to worry about taping nothing down here make sure your paper's tucked in nice and neat nice and clean pretty good and we're going to close it up and there it is we didn't close it all the way we left a little gap just so we can make sure we get along our edges see our paper hanging out the bottom we're going to tape that piece right there together tape that piece together it hangs out and that's it and then we'll tape since down here in the cab we'll tape back tape this and let the paper hang this way and we're going to run a piece all the way across the bottom so no paint goes up underneath the truck and and attracts dirt and flaps over this way comes back in our paint job and all that we're going to go all the way and mask off the tires so there it is that's that door now we're going to finish off this door close these up move on to the other side we have it driver's side doors complete inside and out um, for the handles there is a piece of paper in the middle I back taped here like I explained earlier I did put a piece of paper here but I ended up going over with tape anyway just extra precaution um, to get this piece here I just doubled the tape up and I stuck my fingers in here as far as I could and pushed it to the back and then what I couldn't uh, reach I used a popsicle stick mixing stick to push it against there so everything is back so we can have it make sure we can paint all along the edges so when we put our door handles back on it's got, it's got paint wrapping all the way around excuse me and tape these on the outside I just cut along them because the inside is doubled up and I can't reach the inside to tape behind here on these and that's okay when we peel it off it's gonna you just gotta take your time so you won't peel up the paint your mirror is going here anyway you're not gonna see that hey guys I forgot to mention earlier as well uh, it's also a good thing to go ahead and disconnect your batteries. This is a diesel, so it's got the two batteries. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect them both. That's only because you have your doors slightly open. Uh, I don't want the light to be off inside, drain the batteries, kill it, then you got, you're got you stuck with trying to charge your batteries. While the hood's open, guys, let me go ahead and break it down to you on this one. This is the same thing as a door. Uh, we're going to tape here, and we're going to overlap the paper here. We don't want no paint getting inside. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory where you don't want the paint that's what you mask off so we're gonna tape here along the edges tape behind the lights uh, we don't have to remove the lights we have enough room to get in there otherwise we want to would want to remove them but we actually have enough space to to get paint in there so we're not gonna worry about that we're just gonna tape and cover the lights off usually I will take the lights off but in this case we're gonna be alright we're not no big deal we got enough space it's gonna be okay same thing on here we're just gonna tape around here put our tape line all along the edge of the hood and then we're going to back tape the paper this way same thing paper this way now on the back of the hood we're actually going to same thing on the bottom of the doors guys when you tape on the bottom of the door we have the paper flapping out remember same thing on here we're going to tape the paper out because we're going to match it up to our windshield when we go up towards the windshield we don't have to fold it in it'd be kind of pointless to do that we go out with it but all along here we don't want to come out because of course we have to paint out here so we don't want paper to come out this way so we're going to tape here fold the paper in tape here fold the paper in just a strip all the way around and that'll block the paint from going inside and when we close the hood we're going to close it just enough so that it clicks one time not all the way down just so we get a nice even coat around everything that we're going around now we will pop it up to get underneath here because particularly on the f-250s you have this lip in here and we want to get paint on here but remember on the ford panels that we trimmed out that we cut out already over there remember we already did this piece so we don't have to worry about it on this side but we will lift up here and here to make sure we get paint all inside here and in here all right all right guys thanks for tuning into my channel make sure you click that subscribe button give it a thumbs up for a like hit the bell for all notifications make sure you tune back in for the next one we're gonna start putting some paint on this giant Thanks again. He got a plan for you. He got a plan for you. God got a plan for you. He got a plan for you. They said I wouldn't.